I write in a forest. I go there to listen. What started at the Billy Graham Library in Charlotte, North Carolina, has evolved into a lifelong journey. Something is always moving through each and every one of us. It's our calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest, chapter number 298, January 15th, 2022. And the snow has arrived. The howling wind racing through the leafless trees. A herd of nine deer led by two bucks playing on the nearby hillside. Everything feels like we've been invited to dance on a blizzard white canvas, to step through 24 months of uncertainty to find our souls leaping outward as if to escape, to replenish, to listen to the great creator, always using nature to share the inner message. But are we listening? Do we see what has been acting completely invisible? Setting it next to the short-lived canvas, the heart begins to embrace, to find a new layer of peace. It's as if we're being told to do nothing but breathe. We may be locked behind four walls and two wooden doors, but through our connection to a world of spirituality, the rest of nature is watching us walk through the snow, and they're probably laughing. This day, we are all equal when choosing to find joy in the blizzard white canvas, to be grateful as well as mindful of this moment right here. We are present in what is our now. Snow. In the South, everything stops, except nature. And as a writer who lives in a forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina, you can't help but begin to study the pattern, the movement, the expression. There's just something about nature on this blizzard white canvas, the snow, that is saying, listen, that's all I want you to do. Just listen. Native American spirituality teaches that if you really want to become part of the great creator's message and walk and way, sit next to a tree or a rock. And the reason why is because they are the greatest storytellers of all time. And I truly believe that because as a daily writer, I, I don't ever think that the words that are placed upon a page belong to me. I'm just some guy that has the nib of a writing instrument that is scratching off something that's been hidden behind that blizzard white canvas think about it what are you seeing in your everyday world by way of nature that you're not talking about that you're walking beyond because it's like i don't, I don't have time for that and then one day you realize i could have made time for that i'm arrow these are not my words these are the lyrics from billy's forest